Namaste, sisters. And a huge thank you to Carla for inviting me to share and introduce myself. I am called Heidi Grace, and I have had it on my to-do list for, oh, at least a month or maybe three lifetimes to do an introductory video and share what it is that I get excited about what tools I use to stay centered and balanced and um, just some little tidbits about myself and the path that I'm on. So again, I am called Heidi Dietrich. My uh, yoga teacher name is Heidi Grace and I've been teaching yoga for seven years. My spiritual path began well before that. I have always had an interest in astrology and um, everything of the unusual nature. So with my current path, the way that everything has been unfolding, I as well as I'm sure a lot of us in the uh, collective consciousness as we're becoming more and more awake and aware, um, I'm experiencing this really dramatic shift as far as knowing that this big change is upon us and feeling the shifts and the moves and maintaining a sense of equilibrium as the earth moves beneath me, uh, the, the shifting, shifting landscape. Now the interesting thing is, is I am spending the summer in my hometown. So I am 42 and in the summertime, I venture back to my parents' farm, which is absolutely gorgeous, getting to spend the summer on an, an idyllic, nice front porch with a gorgeous yard surrounded in nature, horses out there also. Uh, well, of course, in the midst of going back to our home uh, places, old things could potentially come up. And as I'm shifting from a space of once again having slid into a bit of a comfortable position in my life, working regularly at a studio that provided stability uh, while I traveled and I continue to travel the world, I'm now shifting towards having even more of a floating base. So my travels currently involve spending summer in Michigan, uh, part of the winter in India, part of the winter and spring in Costa Rica, and also now I'm adding time in the fall out in Northern California. So really I am pushing the boundaries of this uh, beautiful reality where our thoughts become our reality, our words create our lives, and allowing for the universe to continue to keep supporting me, allowing for each step to bring about that feeling of knowing that I've learned something massive from this. And when those moments of perhaps nervousness or fear or wonder or slipping into the old way of seeing the world, that I can now recognize that on, on my path, I've been gifted to have the information and the influences around me where I continue to believe in the magic of life. I continue to be reminded that the universe has always supported me and why would it stop now? So with that being said, I do teach yoga as my primary form of sharing this information with the world around me. I lead yoga retreats as a way of venturing into new environments where we can perhaps wake up and feel completely brand new, different, no filters, just allow ourselves to experience life as it is. And that for me is where my bliss comes from. Being able to meet new people has always been my bliss spot. And I find that it is in line with what I've chosen now in my career path of being a yoga teacher, that being able to be fresh and brand new in every moment is what the practice is about. So when we are around people who hold us to certain patterns or ideas, or they think it's always this way, or 
you have always been like this, so you always will be, uh, that I find to be very limiting. So my life path and what I invite others to experience is stepping out of that. So once again, thank you for the invitation to introduce myself to this amazing collective. And I look forward to sharing more tips and videos in regards to some of the ways in which you might incorporate this into your own life. We are one. May peace be with you. And namaste.